Good morning, this is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update for September 3rd around 9 a.m. Here is the two-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami. And you can see we have three systems on the map, although Gaston is no longer a tropical system. The National Hurricane Center has written the last advisory on that. It did pass through the northern Azores Islands as a tropical storm, and we'll update that in the database. We also have Invest 92L east of the northern Leeward Islands. The National Hurricane Center gives us a 20% chance before it gets into the Caribbean of developing, and then 30% after that. In fact, some of the models uh, do intensify this to a hurricane in the western Caribbean Sea, some of the intensity models, as this um, runs into warmer sea surface temperatures and a lot of heat content over here. So we have a lot of time to watch that. And of course, everybody's eyes are on Hermine right now, 60 miles per hour up in the northeast, and uh, this is going to be lingering for several days off the coast, driving waves and tidal surge flooding into many areas of the northeast. Looking at the latest radar loop from WeatherTap, from the Virginia Beach radar shows the center of circulation moving off the coast of North Carolina near Duck and there it is moving off to the northeast and conditions should be improving on the coast uh, in this general area. My co-host on the shows Bill Phillips is in Virginia Beach and he's going to be streaming content from the local area today on HurricaneCity.tv of live cams and media from the affected areas. But conditions should be improving there later and then conditions will be deteriorating further north as the next couple of days go by. Just to show you how much of a prolonged event this is going to be, here's a shot with the HurTrack program showing the position based on the National Hurricane Center forecast track, and this is subject to change, but as of Tuesday morning, this would be a hurricane over 114 miles to the east of Atlantic City, New Jersey. And the yellow circle would indicate gust to tropical storm force which would encompass all of Long Island, New Jersey, and Maryland. The aqua area would be sustained tropical storm force winds remaining offshore and of course the hurricane would be the red circle and those would be 75 mile per hour winds well offshore. Looking at some of the zoomed in models on tropicaltidbits.com you can kind of get an idea of why the National Hurricane Center figures this could become a hurricane. The weakest of the group is the GFS, has it 993 millibars on September 5th. This is the closest point of approach the GFS has it to land. And here is the Euro showing the closest point of approach, September 5th, 984 millibars, and then beginning to pull away after this. The Canadian model also shows 986 millibars on September 5th. The H4F has it at 984 millibars on September 5th, not quite as closed and beginning to pull away. Uh, the h 4 did a decent job on Hermine in the Gulf of Mexico, so we'll see if this pans out. And here is the scariest model of the group, the GFDL, showing 981 millibars right on shore in New Jersey. Uh, but the GFDL has not performed very well on this system. Looking at the overall wave forecast from the GFS model, indicates that some of the worst and highest wave action would be off the coast, However, there's still going to be a piling up of water, but if this track forecast verifies and the GFS verifies, we shouldn't see real, real high seas along the coast. We're talking anywhere between four, five, six, maybe seven foot uh, sea wave action battering the coastline. Uh, again, if you look at the scale down here, you can see that that's generally going to be in the Long Island Atlantic City, New Jersey, Del, down, down, Delmarva Peninsula area, four, five, six feet just offshore. And that's, again, if this track verifies. Here is the all-important tide chart for New York City, uh, New York Harbor area. And the tides, when they're high, is when this is going to matter. And the first high tide tomorrow, when this would be approaching or getting in an area where it would be causing a lot of wave action, would be in the morning around 10.55 a.m. tomorrow. And then the next high tide would be around 11 p.m. Uh, that tomorrow evening, followed by another high tide on the 5th at 11.37 a.m. And then finally, 12 uh, almost midnight would be the final high tide as this begins to pull away on Monday. Here is a shot from Seaside Heights, New Jersey that was devastated by Hurricane Sandy back in 2012. The waves are beginning to pick up here, but it's going to get a lot worse than this over the next two days. 
You can watch HurricaneCity.tv over the next several days, and we'll have shots like this up on the screen for you to see what's going on in these affected areas. And, of course, the current feature is Atlantic City, New Jersey, at Hurricane City. So you can choose from a plethora of webcams from the affected areas and weather observations. But this will not be Hurricane Sandy Part 2, I believe. I think this is going to be mainly a lot of beach erosion. Uh, at the times of high tide, there's going to be some coastal flooding, but inland areas, you're not going to see too much from this. Finally, I'll leave you with a close-up view of the ship and buoy map at Hurricane City. This is a great map to use as tropical systems are approaching. You get all the local buoys and land observations, ship reports, wave action, everything you need to know to find out what's happening in the affected areas. And then, of course, the Featured City lets you get news and information out of the affected areas, so you can get a, uh, everything you need to know at Hurricane City. Also want to mention, we may do some live broadcasting, uh, such as the Hurricane Watch Show, maybe Sunday night or Monday, depending on the situation. We'll have to see what happens out of this, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it for now. Wish the people the best of luck along the Northeast Coast. Uh, be careful, everybody. That's it for now. I'll be back with another update in several days. Thank you for watching.